mnajua mwaka ule mwingine tulikuwa na kiangazi kubwa na watu wengi walipoteza mifugo yao kama serikali na nataka wabunge wafuatilie tumesema ya kwamba wale watu walioadhirika zaidi familia karibu elfu kumi ambayo ma, mifugo yao yote ilipotea tumeweka pesa ya serikali shilingi bilion moja tufanye restocking na tumesema kwa wale wanahitaji mbuzi na kondoo elfu hamsini na tano tutanunua kama serikali na tuwapatie ili hizo familia waanze mahali pazuri so that no family is left behind and we are going to work with members of parliament and county governments so that we make sure that we target the families that lost all their livestock as we work on the restocking process to make sure that those families that lost everything can be supported by a program that is sponsored by government. Number two, kwa sababu tunataka kuondoa magonjwa ya mifugo, nataka wafukaji munisikize vizuri, hii januari tunafanya national vaccination ya ngombe zetu zote ngombe milioni 22 na mbuzi na kondoo milioni hamsini. kuanzia Januari mujitayarishe ndio tuweze kuondoa magonjwa ndio soko yetu ambayo tumetafuta ya nyama tuweze kufikia hiyo soko kuna soko nyingi imefungwa ya huko nje kwa sababu ya mambo ya magonjwa and that is why as government tumesema in Januari and we are going to work with county governments na ni vizuri niseme katika mkutano huu ya wafugaji ya kwamba january we are starting the process of vaccinating 22 million heads of cattle and 50 million heads of sheep and goats to make sure that we deal with disease control so that we can access both national and international markets for our beef our mutton and all the other products that we are working on jambo la tatu tumekubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya ngozi asilimia 40% 40% ya ngozi yetu ya ngombe na mbuzi na ile eh, mifugo yote inachinjwa inapotea na kwa sababu tunapoteza karibu bilioni kumi kwa hiyo ngozi ambayo inapotea kama serikali sasa tumekamilisha ile leather industrial park ya Kenanie in March it will begin to operate ile ingine ya Ewasonyiro kule Narok is complete tumeweka karibu shilingi bilioni tatu kwa hizo vifaa mbili mimi nataka niwaulize wafugaji hatutaki tena ngozi itupwe kiholela hiyo ngozi ni ya maana sana itatusaidia kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunaokoa shilingi bilioni kumi ambayo tunapoteza kwa mambo ya ngozi hapa Samburu nimeongea na governor wenu na nimemkutanisha na mwegezaji ambaye sasa atakuwa anachukua ngozi yote yenu kutoka hapa akinunua na vile vile tutawapatia vifaa ya kuchinja ili ngozi iziharibike ndio tuweze kutumia hiyo ngozi kutengeneza viatu kutengeneza nguo na kuuza katika masoko ya nje kwa sababu tuko na soko ya kutosha